As a top 40,000 tech YouTuber, I find myself in vast amounts of knowledge, knowing that PC specs are less important than we thought, aren't they? My PC was forged in the darkness of 2019, back when the world wasn't insane. So we talk today about some PC specs, camera stuff, editing files, I hate my life, what the fuck? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I complain a lot. That's actually how I make my living. And it's there's nothing wrong with that. Whenever I say, oh, these Canon files are so hard to edit. One of you jabrones. Every time. Like, more like 25 of you jabronis will say, just buy a Mac, bro. So easy to edit the files on a Mac. We're going to dive deep into that subject soon. A couple side tests in the video. We're on the Sony a7S III with the superior former firmware. Old one. Zeiss Batis 18mm. I'm going to switch to the Canon with the Voigtlander 20mm and this mic right now, Octava MK012. going to switch on over to the Sennheiser MKH416. That thing was in a thing. It's all, it's all bent and rusty, but... It'll voluptuize itself throughout the episode. So first, let's talk about my PC specs, Canon files being super hard to edit, creating proxies as a solution, and then we switch over to the Canon to rant about something else. First of all, the fact that a Canon file is hard to edit is not my problem. I can edit Sony a7S III files 4K 120p, 422 10-bit H265, I can stack them doing side-by-sides. Oh, there's a two 4K 120p files stacked side-by-side -side comparison. If I put one file from this Canon, just 4K 24p, it's like, what is this? It's so hard to edit because the codec is shit. It's poorly designed. It's not more data. That's not why it's harder. It's less data, if anything. It's like 170 megabits per second versus the 240. It's a bad codec. So you telling me I should buy a separate PC just to edit these bad... That's rewarding Canon by paying Apple money. If I'm buying apples at the store... Then we're talking, but not Mac. Just a little side rant as a PC user for my whole life, switching into a Mac universe would bewilder my brain. I wouldn't even know what to look at. Like what's what? Where's my files? Everything is different. I wouldn't even want to dive into that universe. It's hell, I imagine, or better. I don't even know. Windows has its own problems. The most annoying thing about Windows, you open a folder, then you open a second folder. Usually I want to drag fold files to the next folder, but it, you open it and it goes over the folder. It covers it. So I have to then drag it and then drag the file. You piece of window shit. Side rant complete. But imagine having to switch out your entire desktop PC for like a, a laptop Mac. Are you crazy? Not only is the price exorbitant, uh, it's freaking. it would be too much. So like my specs, I get a lot of questions. I made a video a long time ago, Mr. Not Watching All My Videos. You should be thrown in hell. I have an AMD Ryzen 5 3600X, six core processor, 3.79 gigahertz speed. Was it a budget option? Kind of. I wanted to build a super PC and the guy that built it for me kind of thought I had way less money. I'm a YouTuber. I'm made of money. 32 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070. That's pretty much all you need to know. So there's my PC, completely capable of running most files, but some are poorly coded like the Canon, the Fuji 6K files, those are a bit of a nightmare when you're up at like 720 megabits per second. But the Sony files has always been great. Panasonic's a bit of a nightmare. Should I upgrade my PC? It was 2019 when I built it. 
probably but that's that costs money and the most annoying thing on earth must be switching pcs and reinstalling all your programs again what was my password for facebook oh shit forgot my password a hundred times for every website ever existing the most annoying thing ever so like i prolong that process long and hard you know it's not long and hard this microphone let's switch wow i cannot believe i had to take my light from 3% to 15%. How? It went from 2.8 to 3.5 Tonys. Why the hell did I have to brighten it that much? And it's higher ISO, 800 versus freaking 640. And we're now on the Sennheiser MKH416 that I clearly brought out of my laundry basket. That damn thing. Oh, I should not store it like that. Does it sound better? Does it look better? You see, I like Canon. I like Canon colors. Is it worth the pain? I feel like that glowing light is no longer visible because I had to boost this lantern so high. What the hell is going on here? So there's that. So the worst suggestion I get, these files are hard to edit. Haven't you heard of proxies? Yeah, I've heard of them. You know what they do to you? Here's what happened. The other day I make a video, it was 13 minutes and 27 seconds filming. That was very short. Usually I'm filming like 25 minutes, if not 35 sometimes. To render that file took almost the exact amount of time the clip was. So 13, 25 seconds. So imagine you film for half an hour, you have to press a button and wait half an hour to edit your file. That's a bitch. The second bitch in this room, you have a 16 gig file for that. You now create an extra 65.9 gigs that's on your desktop now so you can edit this super easy to edit file that's huge. As a YouTuber who makes like two weeks of content in advance, right now I probably have 17 full videos edited my disk space is dwindling. I have a terabyte on my SSD and I have like two terabyte storage and then I have like a bunch of drives that are like 14 terabytes each and we got a bunch of stuff in the background but my actual C drive is only one terabyte and it fills up and once it gets a little too full it's slower. But to suggest that proxies are the solution to hard to edit files, it just, it takes so much extra time. It's so annoying. And imagine I'm filming two videos right now. I just made one for Vegetable Police and I might go for a long walk and make another video. That's three videos today that I'm making. Imagine having to do that for every video, every day before you can start editing your files. Boom, waiting. It's similar to Sony with your Catalyst Browse Oh, well, I'm gonna stabilize and that takes like 45 minutes easily and degrades your image. So it's like waiting is never the answer to producing and enjoying producing YouTube content. So like that is stupid, stupid canon. You could, the worst thing about it all is they have good codecs in their Canon C70 and the R5C. It's a cinema codec that is super easy to edit, looks just as nice if not better but they won't put it in here. Sounds like something a hammer might have knocked out of the sky once, didn't you? You just, it's a firmware that you put the file into your other body. Don't hit me because I'm saying that. It's a known thing. I like the Canon color, look at those colors. For Sony, who's Sony even? I'll never buy Sony anything. I didn't even update the firmware. I love Canon. How come your menu is designed for toddlers who are, have autism? Ah. So as of right now, I don't see a need to upgrade my PC. Even if I did, these Canon files would struggle still. Like, I don't even know what the solution is. Like, can NVIDIA or Intel even decode these files? 
because the M1 Max obviously do something and then it's like super easy on these files, but I'm not switching to Mac. What is the PC version that can edit anything? And eventually people are gonna be coming out with like 4K 240 frames per second. Then I'm gonna be like, okay, now I need an upgrade. I can't even handle these files. Then we're talking, okay. But like, we're not there yet. Nobody's beating the 2020 Sony A7S III so far. No one's ever gonna beat it. Even Sony themselves updated firmware and it's worse. If anything, I turned it on. It's just such a strange world where Canon has super nice codecs in cinema cameras, but then you lose animal eye detect and other amazing things in video. It's like the R5 can do animal eye detect in video. The R5C cannot. And those files are easier to edit though. Why? Sony, I hate you. You give us animal eye detect in your lower tiered cameras without even viewfinders. You can't even do wildlife if you want it. But your flagship video camera, which this is by the way, viewfinder, it's the most encompassing balanced camera Sony has, A7S III. Firmware update, not animal eye detecting. No, so technology you suck. There's no solutions, only pain and misery and tech seems to be getting worse and worse I, I don't understand what's happening but nothing is improving nobody cares about each other where's our world going somewhere bad let's stick together if you see somebody help them you should be spreading love everywhere you go then the tech will follow love tech that sounds illegal but i'm gonna leave now how you doing do you agree my pc is amazing what would you do would you upgrade my pc just you experts how do i edit canon files because they're so beautiful such a beautiful thing that i can't even enjoy it's a pain in the ass pain in the ass i'm gonna leave how you doing subscribing for more videos i don't say like